morning, it's Jackie Lee from WhatDoYouWantMost.com and today we're going to talk about how to find groups on Facebook. If you're going to connect with new people on Facebook, one of the easiest ways to do that is to, to do it in groups. But sometimes Facebook makes it a little complicated to find what you're looking for. So today we're going to talk about how do I find groups on Facebook. Here we go, right here. We're going to go to the search bar, okay? And let's say that you want to meet other people who are into cooking. Okay, we're going to do cooking here. But instead of just clicking the enter button, we're going to come over here and we're going to click the search button. And we're going to do this for a particular reason. Because when you do that, you'll find that you get options over here. Okay, and we want to look for groups, so we're going to click groups right there. And now, look at this. Okay, it's opened up all these groups for us to take a look at. Okay, we've got, wow. I should have looked at this before. Um, okay, so we've got a cooking group with 10,000 members, 1,000 members, 2,000 members, all these groups. Now, you could just click join, but gosh, you want to kind of get to know the group a little bit. So let's click through and see what the group's all about. Okay, so it says about an hour ago, you want to look for groups where people are actually participating. You want to look for groups that it's not just people spamming links and trying to get you to buy something, but real people having real conversations about the topic. Wow, this looks like a great group. Now, if you are a blogger or someone who uh, writes about this topic, you want to check and make sure you read the About section because there may be some rules, you know? There might be some rules about what you're allowed to do. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, so no, there doesn't seem to be any rules here about not sharing links to blog posts or if you want to share a recipe to write it right in there or anything like that. So I think that you would be good to go. So to join this group, what you're going to do is you're going to click this button right here, join group. Now this is an open group, so it may automatically add you, but if it was a, uh, a pri private group, see I think I still need to be approved. So you'll probably get a, an approval at some point and uh, you'll start seeing posts from this group come up. Now the other thing that you might want to know is that groups you generally get a lot of notifications. Um, whenever anybody posts or comments or replies you'll get notified. Once you're a member of this group there'll be a notification thing right here and you'll be able to change your notification status whether you want to um, not be notified or what. Okay, but that's really it. That's the important thing here. You want to um, use the search box. Okay, so let's say you want to search for a group on Pomeranians. Okay, because you love Pomeranians. Okay, click here. Remember, you might see some things pop up, but you want to find the group. So click that and then click groups. Okay, and now you've got groups here. See, if you wanted to look for people who are into Pomeranians, you could do that too. Or if you wanted to look up pages that are about Pomeranians, you can do that too. And you could like those pages and then you could get into connection with people that way. But this video is about finding groups. So click the group button and you'll see that there's tons. Look, I love Pomeranians and pets. A thousand members. So go to the group. Okay. <laughs> Family and friends are welcome, please or not. That's funny. <laughs> All right, see, so you just kind of look around. You can see that September 17th, Saturday. So this isn't a huge group, and, you know, it might not be super active, but if you were in a few Pomeranian groups, you could probably get some good conversation going. So to join the group, you just come over here and click Join Group, okay? And then this person, the admin for the group, will add you. Okay, now if you wanted to, once you're a member of a group, you can uh, view the comments, and then you'll be able to join in the conversation. There'll be a comment box right here where you can just add your thoughts about the topics or you can start a new topic just like any place else on Facebook. All right, this is Jackie Lee from WhatDoYouWantMost.com and if you need more tips on Facebook 101, stop by and I'm happy to help. Have a good day.